morning. I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Wednesday, July 10th. The man accused of killing a Temple University police officer will not be facing the death penalty. 19-year-old Miles Pfeffer is accused of murdering Temple University Police Sergeant Christopher Fitzgerald in February of last year. Pfeffer will be arraigned this morning. As scheduled in a statement overnight, the officer's family criticized the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office for not pursuing the death penalty. Investigators are trying to determine whether alcohol and hazing were tied to the death of a 20-year-old Dartmouth student from Delaware. Search crews found the body of Juan Jang in New Hampshire Sunday. Police say anonymous tips point to a fraternity hazing event that allegedly took place just before Jang went missing. And starting Monday, all city employees will be required to report to work in person. Philadelphia Mayor Sherelle Parker will be discussing that today, the transition away from remote work. The mayor's office wants to encourage, they say, communication and collaboration while making the government more visible and accessible. All right, let's get you caught up on our next weather forecast. This is becoming a trend. Hot, hot, hot. Another day of this heat wave, Kate. Another day. This is day seven of the current heat wave. We may add another day tomorrow, but tomorrow not as brutal as today, thanks to a cold front that's going to try to pass through much of the region tonight. Let's start off with the heat and humidity, though. We are under a heat warning, an excessive heat warning, where you see that pink all around the city and suburbs. It is hot. It is humid, feeling like possibly as high as 105 or hotter. We already had feels like temperatures in the 90s by early morning by 8 a.m. around Philadelphia and again feeling like the triple digits all afternoon. Morning clouds will break for afternoon sunshine and then we will start to feel a breeze pick up. That'll help a little bit as far as beating the heat is concerned. But again, clouds early, more sun later, and then there is the remnant low from barrel. And that is what's going to drag a cold front through here later this afternoon. So warm front to the north. We get a gusty breeze this afternoon. Here come the storms tonight, likely between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. But the problem, that front stalls along the coast tomorrow. Some sun inland, showers and clouds down the shore. And then the front kind of retrogrades and sits over us Friday with showers, storms, and some potentially heavy rainfall. That will break the heat but it is going to be a very active, unsettled day on Friday. And that may linger into Saturday morning. Then we try to dry out and another heat wave begins. It's heating up to the upper 90s again early next week. Janelle, I'll send it back to you. OK, Kate, thank you for that. And you can get Kate's up to date forecast and the latest stories here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a wonderful Wednesday.